getting ready to throw out an old laptop battery or an old appliance battery, something that has a couple of these in them. They're a 18650 battery cell, lithium ion. People just call them a vape battery, whatever. I'd hate to throw it away. Maybe it's not working in your laptop. Maybe it's not working for your appliance, but it's still a pretty good battery. It holds a charge, just not as long as you'd like to for those bigger appliances. But how could we make this useful instead of recycling it or sending it to the landfill? What's a cheap way to put this to use in a way that any of us can use it? Well, I'm about to show you how to build your own battery bank out of these by pulling them out of an appliance, just like I'm going to do in this video. So, let's get to it. Well, the UPS guy decided not to come down to Long Drive and just drop this in the mailbox. I just got a notification, and I'm pretty excited that it's here, honestly. I hunted and grinded for the cheapest do-it-yourself power charge case that I could use a lithium-ion battery in. Sure, there's some out there for 8 bucks, 12 bucks, pretty cheap. Heck, there's this one for 13 and there's even these monster ones that'll hold 16 of them for 11 Enormous power banks, but these ones were just 99 cents each, and in bulk, they were more like 79 cents each. I'll put a link to these specific ones in the description. So this is my Shark vacuum battery. After five years, it's finally decided that the top end charge isn't great. It still charges up all the way, but it doesn't quite get there and the battery life isn't so good. Like I said in the intro, maybe these aren't good enough to run the vacuum anymore. But they're still pretty good, and they ran the vacuum pretty good. So what can I use these for instead of throwing them away? Well, I'm going to decage, unpackage these, and I'm going to turn these into cell phone chargers. Or I'm going to use them as chargers for all of my battery and sound equipment for filming. After all, these battery banks can cost $20, $30 just for the two battery systems. And I'm going to build them for under a dollar, including shipping. Of course, lithium-ion batteries can be really dangerous, especially if you puncture them, and it would be very easy to puncture them getting them out of this assembly. Google lithium-ion battery fire and just see what comes up. It'll make you think twice about approaching this with a lazy hand. Just be careful, take your time, and eventually we're going to pull out some of these lithium-ion batteries. Same thing that goes in a vape, or even in those little battery chargers. Exactly what you buy off the shelf except they have a couple of tabs soldered to the end for these to be run in series to up the voltage for the battery. We're just gonna peel those off as clean as we can. Doesn't have to be perfect, at least not for the assembly we're putting together. And I can't stress enough, these batteries are everywhere. Power tools, laptops. You see something that's lightweight with a good charge battery on it? It's probably got a lithium ion battery inside. So check these little guys out. Let's pop them out of the case. Not super expensive and classy, but also not total garbage. And they really don't need to be that fancy, right? It's just hooking a battery to a USB plug. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this case open and start placing these batteries inside. Now those little tabs that I shaved off from where it was series together in the shark vacuum, they're still kind of on there. It's not perfect and I don't want to sand too deep. The good thing about it is I can just snap it into the case and rotate the battery until the contact points aren't touching those little solder nibs. And it worked perfect. A great first test. Let's take this phone that's worth a couple hundred dollars that I've had sitting around and plug it in and see if we blow it up. Obviously we're not going to blow it up. But check this out. I would say that's pretty good functionality for 99 cents. And I've got USB stuff all over the house that we take with us on trips, like this five gallon water pump. I don't want to be constantly plugging it in, I just want it to have enough power to get through a trip when we use it in the back of the truck. It's easy enough for me to just rubber band this thing on it, put it on the motor, and now instead of my one battery motor, it's a three battery motor. And I'll have power for it for sure on any trip that we go on. Also, like I said, for my camera equipment, I have little lighting, I have little microphones, I have batteries for the camera and a couple other devices, and they all charge on USB. 
I don't want to be in the middle of nowhere or down in the woods or down at the shop hunting around for a place to plug this in or firing up a generator to charge tiny little batteries. Now, I've got three of these power packs floating around in the bag and I can go ahead and charge just about anything I want on the fly with no problem. And having multiple of them also makes it so I can charge multiple devices. I like that option over having a six battery bank because those only have one USB port or two on them. Now I have three USB ports. And of course, it's time to just plug it in and let it charge at home so that they're ready to go when I need them. Hey, if you like little projects like this and you enjoyed this video, please like, please comment, and please subscribe. I enjoy your comments and I'll answer every single one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.